Welcome to Senior Basketball Analyst. Man, it's the four stringer here flying solo, and it is time for the top four small fours of 2014-2015 season. Look, look uh, the NBA is, because of the rules, the NBA is really leaning this way. Small forward is actually a, a crowded position in the NBA. Um, in, in years past, the league was was you know, always dominated by the big guys. In today's game, the small forwards are the guys that um, – small forward is a position that is, is, is crowded and there's actually a lot of quality talent. But the standouts are, are pretty much as you would think, as you could guess off the top of your head. But I'm going to tell you, some of the, some of the, the ratings that I, I came up with kind of surprised me. And Obviously, I'm going to so I'm going to start with a couple of guys who did not make my top four. Uh, Carmelo Anthony didn't make my top four. Did not make my top four. And that. I'm questioning. I'm questioning. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the way that I rated these guys when Carmelo Anthony isn't in my top four. because. Carmelo Anthony is a scoring titleist. Uh, every year, you know, he he's banging a glass. He's scoring, you know, in bunches. And, you know, he's not nearly as inefficient as people like to pretend he is. And I think he's one, I think he's one of the best shooters in the league. Now, on top of his post game and his handle, you know, he's a really incredible player. And I don't like the way that he graded out. I don't like the way he graded out. And in, in, in fairness, he did have an injury short season, and he looked he looked lackadaisical, and he didn't look that good this year because of the injuries. And I think that colored a lot of my opinion. But even still, nah, I'm questioning that. I'm questioning is Carmelo Anthony not my top four, um, especially because of who was number four. Kawhi Leonard also not my top four. Now Kawhi isn't in my top four because Kawhi is this offensively limited and in fact sometimes he looks offensively he looks horrible and one of his problems is he can't dribble with his left hand as big as his hands are he can't dribble with his left hand and it's it 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 really means that a lot of times he's very dependent upon his teammates to get shots in some games he's getting a lot of open looks and he looks incredible or his stats look incredible in other games, because he can't really get his own shot, he never really gets off, and he kind of gets lost in the shuffle. Um, another player, a player I was kind of surprised at about how far down he was, and then I then I thought about it, and I was like, I, I just hear about him a lot. It's not a lot. He's not really that good. Nicholas Batum. Nicholas Batum isn't a top 10 small forward, and I don't know why everybody likes him so much. And you know who reminds me of him? Giannis Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo, uh, sorry for messing up his name. Giannis isn't very good either. And I don't know why people are so high on him. Like, yeah, I know he's young. You know who used to be young too? Nicholas Batum. Nicholas Batum isn't very good. He's, he's fine. He's an adequate starter. He's a, 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 an above average defender. He's a below average offensive player. He's all right. Like, I'll give you an example of a player who's just far better than Nicholas Batum and Giannis. Tony Allen. Tony Allen is way better than either one of those dudes. Way better. Not even close. Because Nicholas Batum is just as offensively challenged as, as Tony Allen. I don't know why he has this reputation of being a, a, a really good player. Because he's not. He's not. He, in fact, he's down offensively, he's downright awkward at the time. And he really isn't that good a defender. He's fine. But there's nothing spectacular about his defense. Uh, a couple other notable guys that I did not have really rated high. Chandler Parsons, eh, you can keep him. Can't, you can keep Chandler Parsons. He, he doesn't guard him, man. Keep him. Uh, I, I, I'll never forget a couple years ago in the playoffs. He, he and they were putting he and, um, and uh, 
Jeremy Lin in pick and roll situations intentionally, they were being targeted. And these guys kept crashing into each other. And and just Houston just gave a bucket after bucket. They eventually had to call timeout and pull one because those two dudes together defensively is just a toxic mix. Um so yeah, Chandler Parsons is not even close to my top four. He can go somewhere. Um and no and and um now this one, this one, I was a little surprised at. No Draymond Green. Draymond Green not in the top. Draymond Green's a pretty good player, not top four. Um, and, and a lot of that is due to the fact that, you know, his offensive deficiencies. Offensively, he's just not that good. He's he's excellent defensively, but then also, too, he's not that good a perimeter defender because, really, he's an undersized four, really. So out on the perimeter, you know, if you remember during the finals, when he got matched up out on the out on in space against LeBron, LeBron wouldn't even put a move on him, just straight line, dribble drive, blow right past him. He just doesn't have quick feet. So um, that that hurt him a little in the small forward, in my small forward rankings. That hurt him enough where it probably pushed him out of the top four. He probably would have made it. With all that said, without further ado, number four on my list, Paul Millsap. Now, Paul Millsap gets a lot of points because this is a do-it-all position, and Paul Millsap really does it all. He has no weaknesses. Paul Millsap does everything a little bit, everything a little bit. Um, you know, he's an outstanding defender. That's something. The, the fact that people aren't really talking about this guy on the defensive end is just BS. The reason, the real reason the Hawks were such a good defensive team is because of Paul Millsap. He's their best defender. And not only is he a good on-ball defender, he take the ball right out of your hands. He's excellent in the passing lanes. And, 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 and to be clear about why, he makes it difficult for you to run your offense and put and get the ball near the basket because if you throw it anywhere near him, he just takes it. Paul Millsap is so valuable defensively. He's a below average rebounder, but he's not horrible. And at the small forward position, when he moves to the three, he's an, ex, he's an excellent rebounder for that position. He can post up, he can take you out on the floor. He can handle with both hands. He can also initiate and, um, and, and, and drop a nice power forward to center pass, or he can initiate from the perimeter and dump into the post. Um, he, he, he also uh, can shoot from the outside all the way out to the three-point line. Paul Millsap is one of these players that – he doesn't get a lot of credit for how good he is because he's not really great at anything except defense, and no one cares about defense. So he doesn't get talked about. But Paul Millsap is an outstanding player. I wouldn't say he's a great player, but he's he's very very good, and this is why I, I this is why I don't really like that I don't have Carmelo Anthony in top four because Carmelo Anthony I think is a better player than Paul Millsap. But um, again. Carmelo Anthony kind of ended up bailing out of the season because he got he hurt his knee, and his team was like 20 games below 500 anyway. So they should shut him down because that's what you're supposed to do with a veteran star. Um, so I would probably say for this year, Paul Millsap was a better player, but they won't be next year. Um, number three uh, is is a guy that. Uh, you know, we love on this show because if you love basketball and you enjoy a product, how could you not like this guy? Jimmy G. Buckets, the G stands for get. You know, always shout out Stacey King for coming up with that. Uh, Jimmy Butler, best small four, or, or one of the best small fours in the league this year, number, coming in number three. Jimmy Butler, do it all guy. We know this is a guy that, um, you know, often lines up as a shooting guard, but is, is, to me, more natural small forward, you know, big burly guy, real strong, uh, has has pretty good quickness, good handle, can shoot, you know, obviously can shoot from three, good in the mid-range. You can put him in pick and roll situations. You can, you know, you can basically plug and play Jimmy Butler, and he's an outstanding defender. And, you know, he comes to compete. He comes to compete every night, and then he turns it up a notch against your James Harden's, against your LeBron James. Uh, Jimmy Butler 
one of the best players in the league. Got to love the guy. Got to love the work ethic. And from how far he's come, this dude was not – this dude wasn't a lottery pick, man. The Bulls plucked this guy out of the bottom of the first round. Um, and, hey, props to Gar Foreman and John Paxton for finding this guy. And, and props to Tom Thibodeau for developing him. Jimmy Butler, and, and more importantly, and most importantly, I should say, props to Jimmy Butler for working on his game, man. Dude came into the league, he couldn't shoot from beyond five feet. And now, look at him, he's a superstar player. Uh, Jimmy Butler is, is really, really a great player at this point in his career, and I hope he can continue it. Number two, th this is not a, a, at all surprising. It's a big jump up to number two. That man, Kevin Durant. Man, Kevin Durant, I'm not going to talk about him too much because it's all obvious. You know, Duke can fill it up from all angles. He can score from anywhere on the court. He can shoot out to the parking lot. You know, Kevin Durant every year is a, a, a finalist for the scoring title. Um, and and really, he would have a ring by now playing with Russell Westbrook and, and, um, and Serge Ibaka if Scott Brooks wasn't an empty suit. He'd have a ring. So that's uh that's Kevin Durant. Can't wait to see him back healthy next year. LeBron James is your number one. Uh, you know, we we knew that was gonna happen. Um, LeBron James, also one of the best power forwards in the league, is your best small forward in the league. It's really not uh comparable. He's not quite the offensive player Durant is because he doesn't have a jump shot. And really, I think if he stopped shooting like this and shot like this, I think that I think that he would have a better jump shot or a more consistent jump shot. But LeBron James is um is uh not quite the offensive player that Durant is, but he's the best defender in his position. And that just puts LeBron over the top. LeBron is is LeBron is almost like two players at this point, man. He he's he's almost transcended just saying, is he a great player? He almost functions literally as more than one player and, and it's like i used to say you know i bring this i bring this story up from time to time i remember watching scotty pippen playing against the indiana pacers and they literally had him guarding two people at once and i, I was watching it and i remember thinking i didn't know that was possible that's the kind of player lebron james is you know lebron james can function as though he's not one guy <laughs> so uh LeBron James, a, a once in a generation type talent, and he's number one. So that's LeBron James number one. That's Kevin Durant number two. Uh um man, why am I blanking? Oh, <laughs> Jimmy G Buckets number three, and uh Paul Millsat number four. So those were my best player, and and I'm gonna tell you like this. Uh again, I don't like the Carmelo Anthony thing. I gotta think about that. But uh, yeah, don't 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 come to me with Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard is not better than Paul Millsap. That's just not true. And um, I think that you will find that out if you flip flop the teams. I think if you if you flip flop if you put Paul Millsap on the if Paul Millsap played for the Spurs and had a ring and all that stuff, then people would talk about him the way that they talk about Kawhi Leonard. Except there would be more talk about him because Millsap's better than him. <laughs> like he's just better. So even at the stuff that um, even at the stuff that supposedly Kawhi Leonard does, Millsap's even better at that stuff. <laughs> like in addition to being uh, uh, also able to slot as a true power forward. So uh, yeah, that is the top four small forwards of the 2014-2015 season. Oh, obviously, love on the see basketballanalyst.com. Check me out on Twitter and. Go on YouTube, leave comments, and I will certainly respond. So, hey, man, I appreciate you watching. I am effective in, because I select a clear method for all. Suckers, I'm all, they fall and crawl and crawl into the pit of purgatory. I go for glory, I'm taking inventory, counting all the tough